Imagine being surrounded by people who appear trustworthy only to discover they're the very reason for your unease. What if I reveal to you the nine types of people who, despite appearances, don't deserve your trust and respect? This revelation might just be the key to transforming your relationships. As a wise man once said, it takes 20 years to build a reputation and only five minutes to ruin it. Trust is the cornerstone of all connections tying us to our friends, family and acquaintances. But what happens when this trust is misplaced in today's journey? Through the principles of Stoicism, we shall identify nine categories of individuals who may be unworthy of your trust and respect. This is not about judgment. It is about being discerning in who you invite into your inner circle. Let's navigate these hazardous waters together and learn how to defend not just our trust, but also our peace of mind. One is manipulative. The manipulative individual is the first in our exploration. These are the masterminds of deception, artfully crafting their web of lies and emotional manipulation. They wear masks of charm and concern, but beneath lies a calculating mind that uses others for personal gain. Their skill lies in subtlety, and their manipulation is not always overt, making it a dangerous game of shadows. How do you spot them? Look for contradictions in their claims and behaviors. They may promise the world but provide nothing, and their words frequently don't match their actions. Watch out for how people talk about others. Manipulators often say negative things about those who aren't around, giving you a clue about how they might talk about you when you're not there. They use tactics like making you feel guilty, messing with your head, and acting like the victim to get sympathy and control. They're good at twisting facts to their advantage, making you doubt what you see. Trends remember trust is valuable, and with manipulators, it's something you have to be careful to protect. Their influence goes beyond just causing doubts. Prolonged exposure to such people can cause emotional and psychological distress. Therefore, it's important to trust your instincts. If you consistently feel depleted, unappreciated, or bewildered following interactions with someone, it may be a symptom of their manipulation. The key to dealing with manipulators is to set hard boundaries. In your conversations, make it clear what is and is not appropriate. Do not be scared to say no or investigate contradictions. It's also crucial to keep emotional distance while being civil. To avoid sharing personal information or relying on them for emotional support. In some cases, the best action might be to cut ties completely, especially if the manipulation is causing significant harm to your wealth. Stoicism emphasizes the value of emotional resilience and judgment. Stoics believe in facing reality as it is not as we would like it to be. Recognizing and accepting that someone is manipulative allows us to make informed decisions about our relationship with them. As we move on from manipulators, we open ourselves to more genuine and healthy relationships where trust is given and received with integrity. Stay tuned as we discover the second sort of individual in our next segment, as knowledge and awareness continue to guide us through the complexity of human relationships. Now, let's talk about the second type of person you should watch out for. The These are folks who always seem to be on the lookout for something to criticize. They have a habit of finding fault in everything and everyone. In their words can be harsh, and their criticism just doesn't let up. Whether it's about your decisions, your dreams, or even small things, nothing escapes their critical eye. But what genuinely concerns perpetual critics is not simply their negativity, but the underlying causes for it. And their criticism is less about the people they target and more about their insecurities. They may be projecting their fears, disincentives, or self-doubt onto others. So how do you deal with such individuals? First, it's critical to distinguish between constructive criticism, which is intended to help, and destructive criticism, which only aims to belittle. Listen to what they say, but more importantly, observe why they say. If you find their criticism is often baseless and driven by negativity, 
it's important to maintain your distance. Engaging with perpetual critics can be draining. It's like trying to fill a cup with a hole at the bottom. No matter how much positivity you pour in, it never seems to be enough. Remember, in Stoicism we learn the importance of focusing on what we can control. And while you can't control what others say, you can control how you react to it. It is important to set boundaries in a polite but forceful manner. Make it clear that while you are open to constructive feedback, unwarranted negativity is not welcome. If the behavior persists, consider limiting your interactions with that your peace of mind and self-esteem are far too valuable to be eroded by constant criticism. In essence, the perpetual critic teaches us a valuable lesson in self-respect and resilience. By choosing not to internalize their negativity, you protect your inner peace as we move forward in our exploration. The Fairweather Friend Wisdom 3 as we continue our exploration, we encounter the third type, the Fairweather Friend. These are individuals who are all sunshine and smiles when things are going well, but the moment a storm hits your life, they're nowhere to be found. Their friendship is like a leaf in the wind, present in your brightest days, but absent during your darkest hours. To the fair weather friend, is often charming and sociable, making you feel identifying a fair weather friend can be difficult, especially when times are good. But pay attention to how they respond when you talk about your challenges or seek their support. Do they change the subject, make excuses or simply disappear until the sky is clear again? This behavior is a clear indicator of their fair weather nature. Dealing with such individuals requires a balance of open-heartedness and caution. It's okay to enjoy their company, but be wary of relying on these are the people that will stick by your side through thick and thin, and they genuinely deserve your trust and respect. As we move on from the fair weather buddy, we prepare to unearth the fourth type of individual in our path. Each person we encounter along this journey teaches us something useful about ourselves and the world around us. Stay with us as we continue to navigate these intriguing the gossip monger revelations. The fourth type of person to be wary of is the gossip monger, who thrives on rumors and hearsay and frequently springs stories that are not theirs. Their conversations are a labyrinth of he said. She said filled with details about other people's lives that are neither confirmed nor relevant to them. Just conquers frequently present themselves as well informed or in the loop. But the truth is that their habit of gossiping is an indication of deeper issues. It may come from a need for attention, a desire to feel superior or an attempt to divert focus away from their own lives. The hazard of dealing with a gossip monger is twofold. First, it involves you in a network of unsubstantiated and potentially damaging stories. Second, and perhaps more importantly, it creates a precedent for how your own stories may be regarded. Remember the saying, if they gossip to you, they will gossip about you. How do you deal with a gossip monger? The trick is not to fuel their fire. Be cautious about what you discuss with them and avoid participating in conversations centered on gossip. When faced with gossip, a stoic approach advises redirecting conversations to more constructive topics or politely excusing yourself. In stoicism, the focus is on actions and virtues rather than engaging in idle talk about others. Tins of Bewid and Tea. This practice not only maintains integrity, but also protects mental peace by leaving gossip behind. Carrying this wisdom, let's engage in conversations that uplift and contribute positively. In the next segment, we'll explore another intriguing personality type on our journey of discernment and understanding. Teen the Narcissist, our fifth exploration, lives in a world revolving solely around them. Despite their charm, it's a facade for deep-seated self-absorption. They view relationships as a means to boost their ego, rarely considering others' feelings. To dealing with a narcissist requires a strong sense of self and firm boundaries. Stoic philosophy teaches us to focus on virtues and not let external behaviors disturb our inner peace, especially when interacting with narcissists. 
Moving forward, we delve into the sixth personality type. The flatterer, skilled in giving compliments, flatterers often have ulterior motives. While their praise might feel good, it's crucial to discern whether it's genuine. Stoicism reminds us to value honesty and sincerity over superficial praise, maintaining independence and self-respect. To seventh expiration is the victim who perpetually sees themselves as besieged by misfortune. While compassion is essential, it's crucial to maintain a balance and encourage them to take responsibility for their actions. Jim Stoic philosophy emphasizes focusing on what's within our control. In the eighth part, we encounter the envious, harboring silent resentment towards others' successes. Identifying envy is challenging, and dealing with envious individuals requires tact and a solid sense of self-worth. Stoicism encourages focusing on our path and not being swayed by others' negative emotions. Finally, in part nine, we explore the judgmental, Quick to make harsh judgments, judgmental individuals often lack empathy. Dealing with them involves maintaining your values, avoiding fruitless debates, and acknowledging opinions without internalizing them. Stoicism teaches us to be open-minded and value diverse perspectives. As we conclude our series on the nine types of people who may not deserve your trust and respect, Let's carry the wisdom and discernment gained. Choosing wisely who we trust and respect is about cultivating a life filled with genuine connections and positive experiences. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the complex terrain of human relationship. Your reflections enrich our collective understanding, contributing to a community of wisdom and growth. If you found these insights valuable, share your thoughts in the comments and consider subscribing for more content delving into philosophy, psychology and personal development. Stay thoughtful, stay curious and above all, stay true to the path of self-improvement and understanding.